This is part of the series of tutorials providing an overview of the Infinity Analyze capabilities and features. In this session, the camera controls for gamma adjustment, light source selection, and the extended camera controls are reviewed. Using the most suitable adjustments and camera controls is an important step in obtaining images of optimal quality. In this session, we look at restoring the camera to a known configuration, and then we examine the impact of making various adjustments. The gamma setting is located on the camera control menu. The gamma setting is more commonly used when the camera output is displayed on an older style CRT monitor. Its purpose is to stretch the camera's output in the darker regions so that they can be more easily seen by the observer on a monitor that is not particularly good at revealing the subtle darker shades. Set the gamma value anywhere between 1.0 and 1.5. For an LCD or a flat panel monitor, a value closer to 1.0 is likely to give a more pleasing result. Infinity Analyze includes a list of light source choices to match the light source selection with the lamp that you're using on your microscope. For light source, Infinity Analyze provides different color correction matrices, each one intended to remove the color bias present in the different types of light sources. The color correction for the light source is applied as the camera sensor's raw image data is converted into an RGB display. It does not impact how the white balance works, but simply applies a shift to the output to alter the color response slightly. You may find that the best color correction for your circumstances is not necessarily the one with the name that matches your light source. Try different ones to find the correction that produces the best result on your monitor. Keep in mind that the monitor's performance and settings will also impact the way the camera's colors are displayed. The last menu on the right side panel provides access to four adjustments which have an impact on the appearance of the camera output. Saturation, hue, contrast and brightness do not typically require any alteration from the default values. If the image produced by your camera is unsatisfactory, begin by ensuring that the four adjustment sliders in this panel are set to 1, 0, 0, and 0, moving from top to bottom. It is very seldom that hue, brightness, and contrast would need to be altered from their defaults, and if they are adjusted, care should be taken to return them to their default positions after use, since they can have a negative impact on image quality if the sample, filters, or lighting conditions change. As an example, we'll make an adjustment to the brightness to reduce the brightness slightly and to increase the contrast and immediately you can see that the output image is almost unusable from the camera. Highlighting the field and typing a numerical value into the field can return them to a setting value very quickly. Similarly, the hue adjustment will have a drastic impact on the color output of the image as you can see as I move this slider to the left and then back to the right. Under certain specific circumstances you may want to adjust the hue but always take care to return it to its default value before leaving the session for next time. The one exception to the rule that I apply to the camera control extended menu is the use of the saturation adjustment. When viewing samples with very vivid colors or samples that include metallic contents such as copper, silver, gold, or bronze, for example. This setting will benefit from a moderate increase in the level of saturation applied. Typically, a value between 1 and 1.5 can be used to make the image's colors pop more from the screen. At the other end of the saturation control, reducing the saturation value all the way down to zero produces a monochrome output from the camera. With these extended camera controls, 
the light source and the gamma value adjusted to appropriate settings, the exposure and white balance operations should be the only controls that require adjustment to produce optimal image output from the camera under most conditions using various samples and the same light source. Other video tutorials in this series provide an overview of the exposure adjustments and white balance functions.